We now interrupt all normal programming as information regarding a nuclear strike against this country has been received. Please stand by for further information. A nuclear war is imminent, so in this video we will be showing you what you could expect in the aftermath of a nuclear war. Oh, oh sorry. Haven't you always wondered what the world would look like after a nuclear apocalypse? Well, in this short clip, you will experience what experts believe the Earth will appear to look like in the future. Let's take a look. In this video, we will be showing you what to do when a nuclear strike is imminent. Firstly, if a 50 megaton blast is set to hit your home, then what you need to do is calm yourself and find a nice place to sit down. Next, you want to take a shotgun. Make sure it's loaded. Put it in your mouth. And then finally, pull the trigger. However, there is a second option. Y you could pray. Praying might work. Maybe. And now on BBC2, a unique documentary on how to survive a nuclear war. Hello, today I'm going to be telling you some tips on how to survive a nuclear blast. Paper's blank. It doesn't seem to have any. Oh, really? Okay. Mm. Well, it seems that there are no tips for surviving a nuclear blast. Hmm. A nuclear explosion produces intense heat. This can get through unprotected windows and set fire to things in your home. But there are steps you can take now to cut down the risk. First, whiten your windows with white paint to reflect some of the heat away. This will cut down the risk of these fires. 
Then get rid of junk lying about in your attics and upper floors, especially old papers and magazines which can catch fire easily. Wait, wait, sorry. Isn't my house and everything in it flammable to a nuclear blast? The heat from the bomb strikes at attics and upper floors most easily. And fires there are usually the hardest to put out. So pay particular attention to these places. In other parts of the building, clear away papers and magazines. Small fires can be put out easily if they are tackled at once. If they are left, they spread fast and soon get out of control. The fire brigade may not be able to reach you and you will have to protect yourself without any help. So prepare now. If you have a fire extinguisher, keep it handy. Or a garden hose could be very useful. Wait, sorry. You want me to stand outside and hose down a nuclear blast? Keep buckets of sand and water ready on each floor. Yeah. 